Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today we're going to talk about how to put in what's called a French drain, which is, well that's a Labrador, um, a trench with gravel and drainage pipe in it. What we have here is, um, I have a hill here that runs toward my house. And every spring we get a big snow melt here. This water, surface water, comes down this hill here and hits the um, foundation wall, goes down and goes into my basement. First you need to determine where the water is going and where you can divert it to. This is pretty straightforward. The water is coming down here. And then I've got a trench dug here about 18 inches deep. It can be shallower if you want. That goes down that hill toward the maple syrup evaporator. So there's a natural slope here away from the house. So this goes, well you can't really tell because I'm whipping the camera around. But this goes down and out very nicely. I also have a rain gutter downspout here. We're not going to connect this to the French drain. Okay, that's a bad thing. Okay, first thing you need is pipe, drain pipe. And I'm using what's called perforated pipe. It has holes on it here and here. These holes point downward, by the way, not up like that, okay? Holes are down, in case you're wondering. And you can see here, the water will go into these holes and then it's like a trough, basically, and the water will run downhill away from my house, which is a good thing. Another thing you will need, this is called uh, a filter sock. It is a very fine mesh material, and this material slides over this tube like an athletic sock, like this, so it keeps mud and dirt from entering the holes. It's kind of hard to do uh, with just, okay, but you get the picture. Those are those holes. This mesh covers the hole, keeps mud out of pipe, which is a good thing because I'll now show you what happens when you don't put one of these on your pipe. If you don't put the mesh sock on here and the silt fabric, and your dog's bark, excuse me. Charlie! Sorry about that. Um, without bashing the window of my house. Can you see this? I just got dirt all over my lawn. Um, but if you don't put a netting on here, the mesh, filter fabric, this thing clogs and it becomes useless. Learn from me. It's a long story. You'll also need silt fabric. Don't cheap out on this stuff. Um, it's expensive, but it's worth it. This wraps around the pipe and some of the gravel, you'll see when we build this, to keep a lot of the mud and sediment out of the pipe, in addition to the mesh sock that goes over the pipe itself. Again, not cheap, but don't cheap out on it. Um, maybe one of your neighbors has some laying around. I luckily, one of my neighbors had this, and so I just bought the rest of the roll from him because I'm only doing 10 feet. There's also corrugated pipe for drainage, um, and they make a perforated vision of this. It has little slits all the way up here, and my phone's going, sorry. Um, but I'm not a, I would rather not use this. I think that the rigid pipe is a little stronger. Again, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts about that. But I prefer to use the other stuff. But if you have a lot of bends and turns, this stuff bends. It's like a plastic slinky, um, but it, I, it's used all over the place for drainage. You want to help me do this? No? Okay. And then we're going to lay this in. You want this fabric to be centered from side to side in the trench. Like that. All right, this is our end of our perforated pipe. We're going to put the sleeve on here. Pull this like this. Now, what do we do at this end? Some people just might tie this into a knot. I tuck this inside, and then I'm going to try and jam this cap on here. 
it's the end cap like that that works very well all right lay this whole sides down the two holes facing down in our trench Another way to tie off the sock is to glue the cap onto your perf pipe, pull the sock over, and tie it in a knot over the end cap here. I just happen to do it this way. I've done both ways. I haven't really seen an issue with either one, but if you have, let me know in the comments. All right? All right, so the drain, the pitch is going this way. So I've got my last of my sock, and this is the bell end, the wider end of our pipe. And again, our drain holes are pointed down and I'm going to pull the sock over this and tuck it in and then take our solid drain pipe that's going to take the water away and go in like that. Who who rolled who rolled on something? You? Are you going to tell me something? <laughs> Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> so right here it changes to a solid pipe and I've extended the sediment or filter fabric material all the way to the end and I overlap this so that the first piece lays on top of the second piece here and then we're gonna lay gravel on top of this pipe here so the idea is if some water doesn't get into the pipe itself It'll travel along here through the gravel, and it won't be impeded by gravel that's got silt in it, you know, dirt in it, and it will go to what's called daylight, in other words, the end of the pipe. So let me bring you up to date on our French drain system here. We first dug a trench, we laid in the filter fabric, then we put in the perforated pipe with the holes pointing down with the sleeve on it, then we laid some gravel onto that pipe, and then we overlapped the fabric and put more stone on top. You want to have like this much overlap. You want to have a lot of overlap on top of the pipe and then you're going to lay more stone on top of that. And then when we get done with the perf pipe part of the drainage system, we still put in some rock between the filter fabric and the solid pipe all the way out to what we call daylight. Daylight is wherever the drain pipe is exposed, you know, wherever it comes out of the side of the hill, basically. That's called going to daylight. Looks good. Oh, we need, we need some more gravel, right? Right, we ran out of gravel, so my neighbor uh, is going to bring his uh, front end loader down with a scoop of gravel. We're going to drop it in here, and then this is going to stay gravel. They're gonna, I'm going to put grass back in here with a little, um, a little divider thing, one of those landscape you know that stuff that keeps grass from so this will stay gravel and this will be grass like a boundary a boundary there you go you have any questions do i or the audience if you have any questions or comments leave them below here in the show uh, not in the show notes but below the show notes in the comments section like i always say when will it be done uh when our neighbor brings the other scoop of stones down that's always my question all right, all right so make it a great day Subscribe if you like. It's eclectic DIY every week. It could be cooking. It could be gardening. It could be home improvement. You never know it, Eric. I don't know either. Yeah. You're not the only one. But this will be a real help here. So make it a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. Can I have a kiss, Henry? Please. She doesn't do that. Henry. <laughs> Henry. You got a slidey eye instead. <laughs> Henry.